Hey, my people, what's going on? This is Major Major TV. Let's talk. I've been intending to um, talk about Grandma G. Moore after I did the live. But a couple things that came up that I had to go take care of. What I want to talk about, first and foremost, y'all see me get my cardio on, trying to get slim and trim. I'm trying to get on that strong health tip, and I advise all black people to be serious about their health, especially when you go to aging, they ain't going to hurting on you and what have you. And um, so I started more and followed the brother, Dr. Sebi, way of good living and healthy living. And do what's best for you. We need you to live, for boots on the ground, do your part. But getting back to what I want to talk about with GMJ, the topic I chose to talk about is why GMJ is a catalyst for change. Um, Prior to Jim J, there are the typical things going on behind the police, execution and murder of blacks, harassment, targeting, abuse. Can I go on? Etc. right? Have been going on. And the usual would take place. Protests, right? The people that normally hit the caboose on the ground and do it the way they want to do it. And then, you know, of course, with the Black Lives Movement, which been exposed and treated by whites and what have you. But there was also blood spilled the ground because it was people that was tired of hearing it. And they said, Antifa, uh, um, whites that was coming in the Gaza want the protesters to tear America down, right? Because the injustice that they believe America has done to them, white militias and whatnot. But there were black people also making orders there too, right? But nothing was getting done, right? I didn't hear about no other black person arming themselves and hitting the streets. Over to Brownwood, Georgia, took place, there was a group of brothers, not just in fact, because it was just Jay out there with a couple of other brothers, all due respect to those brothers, sisters that was out there behind my Aubrey. And then you had Stone Mountain, Brown, Tell, Louisville, Kentucky, Lafayette, and what have you. And what I'm learning due to a lot of this and fighting and disruption within the black militias of black people that started to disagree with Jay, we learned a lot of stuff, right? But this brother took the mental, put his name behind it, put his face on the screen and started speaking to us and educating them, right? Then he went to directly targeting white America for his original sin and how he propagated a lie about change when there, there is no real change they're showing for the black community and black people in general. So this brother started a movement why are you telling you to be on legally? He telling you about the legal ramifications, how you can do it, what you need to do, and how you have to put up with the nonsense. And it's crazy because it's crazy because you wasn't hearing anyone say anything like that. And 
Especially talking about that and actually own with automatic itself, rifles, guns, machine guns, what have you. And it's 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 amazing that a lot of these brothers from different organizations that got behind see, when things took off. The pay distance to kicking in. And they would have spilled it out to the plumbly. But they felt the dude is just say what they said about Jay. And go hard. When somebody challenged him on it, he'd be like, why are you doing this? And what's ironic about it is the fact that people who's trying to just tell him still cool. We understand your gripe, your grieving, but it's proper protocol. You deal with any kind of situation like this where there was a wall. A lot of these brothers say generals and this, that, and other, but they read all the wall, a stretch, straight stretch of wall. Generals don't move like that. In the military, you just can't do what you want to do. You get a wall, they lock you up. You know, you do a major violation or treat that, they execute you. So for me, I don't understand. I have no military background. My name just made but never been in the military. What I understand is that's proper protocol, rules, and what have you. And to see how this has erupted, how people have took positions in groups and whatever, because I always say that it's not the enemy you have to worry about. You know what the enemy is, it's the people around you have to worry about. And unfortunately, with success come envy. Flip side love is hate. And what people fail to realize is that this brother organized, galvanized, and mobilized millions of black people around the world. And now you have other black people that's trying to tear that down and have been doing it for quite some time. And this brother is going through a whole state in state in federal case. That's not honorable. That's not respectful what they're doing to him. And knowing that this brother has risen the consciousness of many black people, I don't get it. But Jay is a catalyst, catalyst for change. Whether the people agree with it or not, but the route he took and the words he selected to use, the energy, the emphatical expression, how he was uh, unapologetically being black, frustrated and tired of leaders and people doing the same old, same old thing and not getting results. They said, saying, they said um, excuse me, Einstein said that insanity, it's insanity when you do the same thing and expect different results. You know, it, it doesn't make sense the way how we was going about doing it. And the funny part of it, when Jay did what he did, these brothers didn't have to wait on Jay. They could have just did their thing, even when they went out there to, to wherever they went to, to, to um, protest or pull up with guns or what have you. There was other things going on around the country that they could have, associate themselves with. They could have put their name on it. And I don't understand how you can make sense of someone who took and put his life on line to help black people or crime <laughs> in the sense of reality. You call him fake. Some people call him an agent. Some people are not really acknowledging the seriousness. And the, the funny part about it is, when the brother Talib was on, on O.C. the Great channel, after bashing the brother and calling the brother out, he had a nerve to say that he was the brother well in this case so forth, so on, and 
blah blah blah. I'm like, damn, that's a direct contradiction. If you if you talk that bad about him, you made your business to show your kids how you were standing side by side, how he did your part, how everybody had left him but him, and so forth so on. To build to, to set up his argument of why he came out publicly and said we said about Jay, to me is ludicrous. It's inexcusable because you're gonna turn around then, I hope he, oh, because I read from charges and blah, blah, what have you. It's a contradiction. You shouldn't even say nothing about that because it can't be taken and received sincerely because you just told this brother down, you know, you just call them fake the people, you told people don't support you. So by you saying you wish him the best, but tearing down at the same time being counterproductive, That's a contradiction because if you're telling people don't support Jay, Jay need donations for the attorney because them legal fees are expensive. And I'm the first to say is where well the state and federal have two have um, different cases of the same charge and bring as defendant. It, it normally because of taxpayers' money, and it don't make sense to. Because to me, that appears to be double jeopardy, you know, for you to have to do state and federal for the same charge. That's the Fifth Amendment constitutional um, issue, right? But these white folks, they wore down the Constitution, is pathetic. But to make a long story short, I didn't understand what this brother was saying. How can you wish the best for this brother legally by telling people not to support him, knowing he need donations and support? And I just, it's not just about the money, it's about pulling up, it's about um, writing letters, it's about connecting with people that's willing to fight for this brother by any means. So, this video is simple, it's simple and plain. Grandma G was a catalyst for change. And people, usually, I'm talking about black people, but I'm, I'm not going to say America, period. They are immediately programmed. They're immediately programmed. How you doing? All right. They're immediately programmed, right, to resist anybody that try to talk against the power structure. Resist any, resist anyone that challenge the hypocrisy of this government, the racism of this country. It's not just a black thing, it's a white thing, and everybody in America is brainwashed to automatically resist. You have people coming in my life, white people, having simple dialogue, and then turn around after finding out what's going on, and what I'm saying, they go to have the soft sidebar comments they put in there or come through my mentions at the video and what have you. And I'm going to start calling y'all out on that. But my thing is this. I'm also unapologetic black. Is it because I have picked arms and got in front of that camera? I'm down with GMG and any black person that's trying to create change for our people. We're getting sick and tired of us being told the same old, same old sad story. It wants to just wait around. It's between black people, no one else. But Jay has did his part, continue to do his part. He was many disciples and many people out here that know what he was saying, what he was, what he was trying to do. And all of us didn't agree with him. A lot of us did, but we still stayed steadfast and believing in what this brother was talking about. And black people better open their eyes. Because we keep missing this bus. We keep missing the bus because why? We haven't unfilled our mind from all this toxic stuff that goes through our mind. We associate ourselves and put ourselves in homes way by any of information dealing with certain kind of people. 
on social media and news that's really just got us all twisted. So, this is major, major TV. I had to do the video, y'all. I got some more to drop, too. Because that's the thing I have to say. Real, real talk. About Jay. And, excuse me, Jim J. Period. This major, major TV. Like and share this video. If you're new to the video, hit that subscribe button. And well, the notification bell because I drop content whenever I feel like it. And I definitely want to resonate and connect with people and like mine. Y'all take care, stay blessed, John Cody. Just be black. Peace. I said it's power in these words, so let's talk. Uh -huh. Let's talk. I said it's power in these words, so let's talk. Yeah.